Greetings. Down here in Fremont today. I think I first came to Fremont one time to meet with my dad and his wife Rob and I never live in here. <coughs> it was cool. Yeah, had a nice visit. Uh, pretty cool if you're I work here now, live in Oakland, you know. It's a nice hot day today. And my dad, you know, it's pretty cool. My dad, you know, was had some charisma. People really liked him. You know, that's one thing I can say about my dad. Roy Taylor. He just had a good laugh, big smile, you know, fun loving guy, liked people. Star you know, train train liked him. Airport, San Francisco, Daily City, and Fort and uh Star, but so he, he took me to the city a couple times in San Francisco. And he had some places he liked to go, some things he liked to do down there. And uh, he actually took me to Cafe Trieste one time in uh, North Beach. Really nice. And he brought brought me in there and said, hey, this is my son, you know, uh, to Papi Gianni, the owner of Cafe Trieste. Uh, Cafe Trieste. And uh, it, not sadness in Spanish, but like a region in Spain, or I mean, in Italy, something place. Anyway, Cafe Trust, and if we so we go in there, and uh, there's Papi Gianni. My dad knows my dad for sure. My dad says, "Hey, you know, uh, this is my son. He doesn't really like coffee much, you know." So uh, Papi Gianni, pretty aging man by this time, says, "Hey, we're gonna make him something nice. Right? We're gonna make him something he likes. Yeah, you know? it's like maybe a mocha. Wow." First ever, like real mocha, you know what I'm saying? Steamed milk uh, to, to the right temperature, you know, good chocolate. That's the key. And then enough espresso, not too sweet, right? It's kind of a little bitter, a little chocolatey, a little bit sweet, but not too much. Good mocha. So anyway, he hands me the mocha. I drank the mocha. Of course, I liked it and got into coffee after that. I liked the little buzz I got. And... Um, Really got into mochas. I've been drinking mochas ever since. I love them. I love the chocolate. I love the sweet. I like the coffee buzz. Tempered with a little bit of cream. You know, it's really nice. Yeah, anyway, so that's it. My first uh, mocha. Cafe Trieste. Okay. Papi Gianni, San Francisco. My dad. But let me tell you a little something else. Okay. So going up and down the coast of California back then, you could only get drip coffee before Papi Gianni. That's it. Nothing but just drip coffee. No espresso. Nobody had an espresso machine. Who knew? He's living there in North Beach, right? Little Italy, San Francisco. So he decides, hey, you know. Uh, so he imports the first ever espresso machine on the west coast via slow boat he has it shipped over from italy right cool to north beach uh, probably some really cool lazari or some cool uh whatever uh espresso machine back in the day right brought over by boat to san francisco and i had my first mocha there made by the man who imported the first espresso machine on the west coast I think it's kind of neat. It's a little bit of history. So this is, begins my sort of rubs with famous people series, right? That I'm starting. The first one, Papi Gianni, San Francisco, friend of Francis Ford Coppola. And here's my train.